welcome back to another video today we're gonna be trying to build a uh, Chrome extension uh, using react JS so let's get right into this so right now I have a uh, create react app just right up here completely blank uh, fresh with uh, nothing going on in it as you can see here so if you come over here I have this Chrome extension uh, what's it called Magoosh here and it gives us a new word uh, each kind of uh, time we have a new tab or something. If we refresh this, you see it'll give us a new word with a definition uh, in English. And this is just kind of a vocabulary uh, builder, I guess you would call it. So I wanna try to build something like this and see if we can do that in this session here. All right, so I've built like one Chrome app before, uh, but I haven't had much experience with this. So this is gonna be trying to figure this out kind of as we go here. So the first thing that we need is gonna be some sort of vocabulary list with our uh, definitions and our words. So I guess we better just Google that real quick, see if we can find something. So I found this word list here, which I think is going to do us well. We had to search for uh, the GRE word list here, and that worked well. So, um, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description to this, but we're just going to come over and copy this down. All right, so we're going to copy this over, and then we're going to come back here. Uh, I think we can get out of there for now. All right, so let's come back here, and we're going to come in our SRC, or uh, actually I got made fun of last time for calling it SRC in the comments so our source folder here uh, I'm going to create a new file here and we are going to call it uh, vocab list.js okay and then we're just going to paste in our vocab here so as you can see with this list uh, we're just going to have a field one and a field two and each one this will be uh, the actual word and then we have our definition in field two so that's just how that's going to work so let's come up here and we're just going to const Damn, this is moving slow. Come on. VS Code is not handling big files well right now. All right, so VS Code is moving crazy slow right now with this vocab list because it's such a big uh, file here. Anyways, what you want to do here is you want to export um, this as vocab or whatever you want to call it. And uh, that's basically all we need to do in the vocab list here. So we can get rid of this here. Then we want to come into our app and actually build out what we're going to be doing for our Chrome app. So this file is going to hold kind of everything we're going to do in our Chrome app. So we can get rid of this here. All right. And then come in here. And what we're going to want to do for this is kind of create a random number and then just select one of those words and definitions from that giant list there. So the first thing we're going to have to do here is bring that in. So let's come up up top here and we'll go imports and what's it called vocab here. We called it or whatever you called it in that file there. And that's going to be from uh, dot slash. We called it vocab list just like that. All right, so for our app, this is gonna be pretty simple. So we're just gonna come in here and the first thing we wanna do is get a random number um, between one and the uh, length of our list. So that'll give us, uh, then we can select from there a single item. So let's go like this and say const and say random uh, num just like this. And that's gonna be equal to, and we'll go math.floor. And then inside that, we'll go math.random, just like that, and we'll call that. And then we go math.random times, and we will say, again, math.floor, which will bring it down, uh, kind of round down. So again, math.floor, like that. And then not random in here, but we'll say vocab, which is our uh, list here, uh, vocab that we're just bringing in and dot length. So that's what we wanna do here. Let's give us a little more room here. So this is gonna get our random num for, number for us. So we're calling math.floor, which will round down, and then we're gonna random number, which is this uh, right here, we call math.random. Then we're gonna multiply that by the rounded down uh, version of our vocab.length, which is the length of uh, our array. All right, so hopefully that is uh, fairly clear. 
And then the next thing we want to do is we just want to display on top. So let's go H1 here and we will say in here vocab just like this. And then in here we'll go brackets and say random num, which is what we called uh, this up here. And then close off our uh, brackets there. And then close off our uh, curlies right there. So it's gonna go through our vocab list here and whatever the random number is, it'll select that element out of the list. So that is an easy way for us to uh, get that. Now, what we gotta do is we wanna call dot in its field, which is the name of uh, the first field. So we wanna go field one, which will be the name. So again, that comes from here. If we see we have field one and field two, I don't know if that's clear, let's bump that up a little bit. All right, so we got these two fields. So that'll select uh, for the name and then the definition we'll put below it. So let's come down here and let's go, we'll go with, give it an H3 in here and we can do the same thing and say vocab and we'll go again, random num and we will say dot field here too, just like that. And then we can close that off like that. All right, so this basically should be all we need for this. Now we can get rid of this logo up here too, um, but why don't we run this and see if it works. So go ahead and save that. Uh, let's open up our terminal here and we can just say uh, yarn start like that. All right, so if I bring this over here, this is what our uh, site is looking like right now. So we're getting the name and then the definition below it. And again, if we uh, refresh this, we get a new one and a new definition. Now that is uh, looking great. Uh, we might style this a little bit differently, but for the most part, I think that's pretty good. Now, the idea that we need to turn this into a Chrome app, we need to get into that. So let's come back over and let's first just add a tidy bit of styling to this. So let's come into our app.css here and just come down to the bottom. We can leave all that for now. And we just have an H1 and we'll add some stuff here. All right, so I've just added uh, to our H1 and our H3 a little bit of styling to the color here and just uh, some margin there. So we can actually take a look at this and see what that looks like. All right, so now it's just green, kind of like the other. So this is basically our final design, nothing fancy, but this is what we're gonna be working with. So now let's turn this into a Chrome app. All right, so with Chrome apps, the main thing we gotta do is we gotta come in to our public folder right here. Then we're gonna come in and see this manifest.json. This is where we're gonna to need to change out uh, quite a bit of stuff here. So let's come over and let's just get rid of everything here. And I'm gonna type out kind of how this is gonna look and then we'll go over it here. So let's take a look at what we got here. So there's a few things that are necessary and that we need right here. First is the manifest version. Now, I don't actually know why exactly, but they say you need to uh, put a two for that. So manifest version two, make sure you have that. You can name it whatever you like here, uh, the author or whatever. The version doesn't really matter. Um, for us, we just put version 1.0.1. Description, describe your app, and then these icons. We need these three different sizes here. So we haven't actually added these yet, but we'll go through and uh, add those in a second. And then this is kind of the most important part here, I think. So our Chrome URL override. So we wanna override the, um, the basic behavior and we wanna, when there's a new tab, we wanna serve up our index.html instead of the normal uh, Google um, or whatever you have on your homepage. So that is what we got. All right, so go ahead and create some icons here. For me, uh, I'm just gonna paste these in. I created them already. So we have these three different sizes. And again, you can go, I think there's like icon creators and stuff. So let's say maybe like a favicon. Yeah, there we go. So 
So there's a bunch of these different favicon generators and whatnot that uh, you can try out. I don't think it really matters, whatever you want to use. You just want to make sure you can uh, download them in the correct sizes. So 16 by 16, uh, 48 by 48, and uh, 128 by 128. So what we need to do is come in, not into our uh, source folder here, but just come into uh, your root folder and create a new file. And that file is gonna say .env and .production. Okay, so like that. And then you wanna come in here and you wanna say all caps, inline, uh, runtime, chunk. And that is gonna be equal to false. So this is gonna be uh, necessary. Otherwise, you're gonna get a lot of errors when you try to load it into uh, the Chrome App Store. So go ahead and save that. And then I think we're basically done. So what we wanna do is come over here. We can close out of this for now. And you wanna build your app. So we're gonna go like this and say uh, yarn build. And it's gonna uh, build our production app for us. All right, so we didn't actually go over what this line does, but basically it's gonna disable Webpack from generating inline JavaScript in your HTML. So that's just gonna be important for us. So get rid of that. So we've built our app now, that is all good. So now we wanna come over to the uh, Chrome uh, web store here or your Chrome extension. So you wanna come in here, um, let's say manage extensions. So you can just come to this URL here. Now you wanna make sure you're in developer mode. So make sure that is there. And we're gonna go and we're gonna load an unpacked extension here and then come over to wherever you have your extension saved here. So I'm already in this folder, this Chrome vocab here. So for you wanna find your build folder here and this is what you wanna add. So we're gonna click on that, we're gonna say select. Oh, it looks like we got an error here and I think in our manifest we might have an issue here. So let's come back over. Yeah, okay, so our uh, manifest, we have a little issue. These are off to be uh, .ICOs. So just make sure you have uh, spelt everything correctly here for me. Just a little typos here. So .ico, that should be good. And then again, you're gonna have to rebuild your app. So yarn build again. All right, so once that's built, we can come back over here and uh, we can try this again. Come in, make sure you're in your build uh, folder here and select that. And then as you can see, it looks like it uh, worked for us. So now we have our better vocab um chrome extension uh for us so let's come over and if we click on this you see we got a uh, it, it working good and we got our word and then we got our uh, definition right below so if we uh, refresh here we get a new word new definition we can keep going like that so great that looks like it's pretty good all right, so that's working good. Hopefully that was helpful and gets you started uh, creating your own Chrome extensions. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead, subscribe or hit like, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.